world is against you. It distracts you from your work. It's the reason why you're unsuccessful. Or maybe that's not the direct problem. So what is the problem then? How come some people can work for 10 hours straight while you can barely even open your computer without finding yourself on YouTube 10 minutes later? Well, I used to have a similar issue. For years, I wanted to be the greatest YouTuber of all time. I wanted to surpass Mr. Beast and take over. But I had one problem. I rarely posted videos. There was something preventing me from starting. And that something was my phone. I was the average TikTok addicted teen. Every time I sat down to brainstorm video ideas, I would find myself scrolling for hours just to snap back into reality, completely unhappy with the time I wasted. And the worst part was, I kept doing it day after day after day. I thought that the problem was TikTok. So I blamed the app for how addicting it was. Until one day, I realized that maybe it was my fault. Maybe I was in control. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. And I was letting it get a hold of me. So I got this. This is a book about breaking bad habits and creating good ones. I studied it for a month because no one else is gonna fix this problem for me. And that was it. I had absorbed the information and created a plan to finally get off my phone. It wasn't that complicated either. You see, I was using it as a distraction from hard work. So now I keep it on do not disturb and I usually leave it in another room while I'm working. This completely removed the cue or the urge to go on it so I can no longer get sucked in. Okay, so what did I take from this whole experience? What mindset shift allows me to work on big projects like this video? And how do you actually achieve your dream? Frankly, getting what you want is simple. But notice I didn't say it was easy. It's very simple. In fact, if you think about it, we live in the most amazing moment in time. All right, that felt really good. So now I'm gonna go for five pounds more. That'll be 120 pounds, which I think is either a PR or it's matching my PR. So this might be a little tough. Whatever it may be, you wanna use healthy eating to cure your diabetes, you could Google it. And you could probably find at least, I don't know, a thousand blogs documenting the step by step by step transformation that somebody else is already doing. You can just walk in their footsteps and let them, you know, just use the science of drafting. Follow what everyone else has done. Somebody else is already doing it. So why don't you have what you want? The secret to outworking everyone isn't that complicated. Whether you have bad genetics, a messed up childhood, or just consider yourself unlucky, you can still change your situation. But you have to accept that most things are in your control. Your phone addiction can be fixed if you just decided to figure out how to fix it. Your videos will get more views once you stop blaming the algorithm. And you'll hit the PR when you make a genuine effort to get stronger. I mean, what's the worst that can happen if you actually tried to be better? So take responsibility for your life for your failures, and for your successes. And only then, you realize how powerful you truly are.